r slash ask reddit people who lost their job due to this crisis what is your story farmer one i've been having some issues with my flock of cows farmer two herd of cows i got a call congratulating me on getting a job two days before a hiring freeze went into place at the university i applied to i never saw my contract nor do i have any work just lost it about an hour ago I'm a restaurant manager and they called me and told me to turn in my keys by the end of the day. I'm in quarantine and can't. They are sending me a UPS box so I can send in my keys and told me to file for unemployment. Never expected this to happen to me. I'm in shock idk what I'm going to do. Not me. But my wife has been told that basically we'll call you if we need you. And they don't really need anyone tbh. She hasn't worked a minute since the 13th. And my sister was a bartender at an arcade. So she's totally fucked. She's been laid off with the promise of reinstatement when they reopen. I'm a substitute teacher. If you are aware that most schools are closing if they haven't already. Then that should explain why all subs are now effectively unemployed. It's unlikely that schools will return during this situation. So yes. Thousands of people are out of work just from that alone. Subs don't make salary. So any employee who is hourly or paid by day now needs to scramble. Edit. Because so many people are unsure whether they should file for unemployment or not and are in a similar situation. Being a substitute or a different employee that was hourly or a position that was cut due to our current circumstances. Please do. You absolutely can and should file for unemployment. It may take some time with the influx of applications. But this situation is what that government service is for. I extend my best wishes to everyone and their friends and families. I hope you all stay healthy and hold on to hope. Be smart and safe. I'm a server. I haven't worked since the 14th. But was officially laid off on the 18th. Where I am. Temporary layoff is only 60 days. If we are not back by then. We lose our jobs permanently. It couldn't have come at a worse time since we have new management and there's been some murmurs about getting new staff. I was about to lose my apartment, unrelated, but my landlord phoned me up to let me know that he is no longer making me leave and not to worry about April rent. He also gave me $150 to go buy groceries. He's a bro. I'm trying to get through to EI. Which is all online right now. But the site keeps crashing so I'm unable to make a claim right now. I haven't lost my job. But my small software company instituted 30% pay cut across the board. They say it'll be re-evaluated every month. Clients keep cancelling or postponing projects. So I'm good this month. But could easily lose it next month. I'm just happy they decided to cut pay instead of fire 30% of the workforce. So everyone can keep their health coverage. That and I'm not sure I wouldn't have been part of that 30%. My job as a barista was shut down for safety and because nobody is coming in. Anyway. And my summer job, teaching kids how to swim at a sleepaway camp, is cancelled because the camp decided not to open. While I'm not in danger of losing my house or starving, I am now unable to afford to continue going to college next semester. Edit. Somebody gave me gold. I don't actually know what that means since I'm new to Reddit. But I hope whoever gave it, and the rest of y'all, are safe and healthy. Q. What's a fish say when he runs into a wall? A. Damn. This joke can be turned into one of two ways. Q. Manager at a movie theater. I already saw it coming so it wasn't that shocking to hear. We were only seeing about 200 people a weekday down from our average of 900. Got called in by the GM and we were told that we were closing indefinitely. It's looking like 6-12 weeks. I'm fortunate enough to have enough money saved that it isn't really an issue for me but it really upset me knowing that a lot of the people who work in the building have no other source of income and scrape by with their paychecks. Fingers crossed it's 6 weeks. Maybe less. Last hired first fired. The owner loves me but she couldn't keep us all on. So it was only fair. My side gig is dog walking. Which is fucking slow bc no one's leaving their houses these days. God bless the biddy whose dogs I walk every day. My experience is pretty unique. In a nutshell. 
My wife and I live in New Zealand and had planned a two-year working visa in Toronto. We were supposed to leave in April. So we had obviously already handed in our notices of resignation to our bosses. Long story short. Canada shut its borders and my boss has already hired my replacement. As a side note. They shut the borders on my birthday. Classical musician here. Every orchestra had to cancel concerts for the next 8 weeks. Unsure if any of the concerts will be rescheduled. Many orchestras are waiting to see if the act of God clause will be applied. If that is the case. Musicians will not be paid. Most summer orchestras are still programmed but there is high chance will be shut down as well. Edit. In the US. Construction. The whole construction site was laid off. And with the way things are going. The company owner thinks it'll be at least a year before they consider hiring me back. Started 3 months ago. And that's at least 50 other people affected. Just for this site. The company had several other sites that they laid off employees too. I'm just lucky I'm still living with my parents. And dad works as online IT for the general public. So he's nice and busy. I was a bartender. The bars and restaurants were shut down. I was actually relieved because. Not gonna lie. I was afraid of dealing with so many people and all the glasses. People would have just kept coming too if the state hadn't shut us down. I have posted this before but. What do you give a sick pig? Oinkment. What do you do for a sick pig? Call a H ambulance. Where do you take a sick pony? Hospital. Where do you take a sick duck? Didn't lose my job. But I was in the middle of searching for a new one. Obviously now it's getting next to impossible to find a job. And I'm not eligible for EI. Covid-19 plus price of oil dropping like a rock equals bad time to be a welder in Alberta. If it was just the virus things would be alright. But the company got hit with multiple things all within a short time frame. So nothing to do but read it. YouTube. Call of Duty and walk the dog. All while getting back some of the money I gave the government over the last few years. Say. I was supposed to see my doctor yesterday. Hoping to be cleared to go back to work. I had rotator cuff surgery 2 months ago. Appointment was cancelled. So I can't go back without the paperwork. Super sucks cause I have $100 to my name. I was a server looking for a new job before this all began. I got a job secured at the zoo. An amazing dream job for me and my personality. But the day before I started at the zoo. But they shut it down for the coronavirus fears. Then they shut down my serving job too. My girlfriend works for Marriott and basically lost her job. They told her they'll call her when they need the staff again. She tried to apply for unemployment and was denied because Marriott has her as an employee who works zero hours. So for the time being I'm taking over her financial responsibilities. How does a dentist check a hippo's teeth? Very carefully. What time is it when a hippo sits on your chair? Time to get a new chair. How many cockroaches does it take to change a light bulb? Can't tell. Because as soon as the lights go on. I have just read that 18% of US workers have lost jobs or hours. I just finished my training as a flight attendant for a major European airline. It's been a dream of mine and I have been putting my love and energy into this training for the past months. I'm in Cancun right now and it's bittersweet because it's absolutely beautiful here. But at the same time this was my last training flight. I'm now a fully trained flight attendant and yet no one knows when me and my other new colleagues will actually be getting our work contracts since the airline industry is suffering a lot right now. I think I will cry when landing back in Frankfurt tonight. Because I don't know when will be my next flight. But I will put on a brave face and genuine smile for our passengers. At least I will do my best. My husband got laid off on Tuesday. He works about 3 minutes down the road from my work. He showed up at my work with tears in his eyes. Apologizing to me for not doing good enough to be kept. He works at a car dealership as an auto technician. Where they let go of 4 techs that day cause of decreasing business. They're letting go of more people this Saturday. My brother is a mechanic there. And is scared to lose his job too. They told my husband that when business picks back up. They might call and ask him to come work for them again. Thankfully. 
I work in the lab of a hospital. So my job is pretty secure. I keep telling my husband that we'll get through it. But I know it's taking a toll on him. Wife and I both work at major casinos on the Las Vegas Strip. Both of us are out of work. All casinos in Las Vegas are closed. Only security and a few other key positions are still employed. Casinos are the largest employers in the state of Nevada. I'm sure this is going to devastate the local economy. This one may not work unless they've recently looked at that map with all the different geographical features on it. Yeah I just got hired last week but I think that my first workday isn't gonna happen. I work in a hotel. Last week. Our occupancy dropped to the 20s and most of the frontline duties were taken over by upper management and airline staff was laid off or had shifts reduced to one or two. This week. Our occupancy dropped to less than 10%. Right after the hotel CEOs met with Trump and announced that they were shutting hotels down. My company called and laid off sales. Chef. Banquets manager. And anyone else they could. That is when I was laid off. My manager told me he thinks they will close the hotel next week and lay everyone else off. It should be noted that they didn't lay off anyone in the corporate office because our company is all about nepotism and we shouldn't expect our company photographer or company newsletter writer to be without a job. I do understand that we can't run empty hotels but I thought the layoffs should be more fairly distributed. The upside is that my boss felt so bad about laying me off that he gave me a garbage bag filled with toilet paper as a parting gift. I love that guy. I'm a housekeeper at a hotel. Last week they cut our hours from 40 to 32. I was just informed that tomorrow they are shutting down the hotel. Front desk. Sales team. And bartenders are being laid off for the time being. Housekeeping will now work 24 hours a week for 2 weeks to deep clean the hotel. But who knows after that. Wife and I both work in the restaurant industry. Both laid off and paid indefinitely. She's a type 1. Insulin dependent, diabetic, and we've got two young kids. We have no idea what we are going to do. Insulin and supplies were already killing us. The thought of not being able to get her insulin is horrifying. Edit. Thank you so much for the kind words and advice. We are applying for Medicaid and SNAP tomorrow and I'll be looking into what the insulin and pump supply manufacturers can do to help. We expected to go to work the last couple days. They decided to close the doors. And I can't blame them. It just sucks. It just sucks that I can't even go out to find a job. A couple of incredible redditors are going to Venmo us a few bucks to get by and we are beyond thankful. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay home if you can. Didn't lose my job because of this. But I've been between jobs for a good few months before this. It's been a terrible experience trying to get interviews or processes to move forward because of everything going on. Makes me worried about how much longer it'll be. Question. My last day at my old job was Thursday started a new job Friday. All my old friends and co-workers are laid off Sunday. And I have this guilt I can't shake. I had been unemployed for over two months. With countless applications and rejections. I finally landed a job at a record storing facility. Good hours. Good pay. Technically it was a casual job but it was essentially full time. There was work for me for over a year. The company whose records I was to be taking care of cancelled the job and I was back out of work after five and a half days. I'm a nurse. Had a kidney transplant seven months ago. Returned to work four months ago. Left work on Monday and haven't been back since. A paycheck isn't worth risking my best friend's gift. Edit. My first gold. For staying home from work. Lol thank you kind neighbor and friends. Anyone else please donate instead. My wife, the real badass nurse BC she is currently working the L&D unit. And I love donating to animal charities and we do medical mission trips in Peru with the dream team at support our smiles link remember it's always darkest before the dawn. We're going to overcome this and be stronger for it. Edit 2. Worth mentioning I haven't lost my job. Nurses and staff went to work for 3 days this week to clean and now non-elective surgeries have been cancelled. We'll see what happens. 
It's a surgery center and my bosses and the board, all doctors, have been beyond supportive throughout my transplant and now this pandemic. The blessing of having so many incredible people in my life has me in a never-ending state of gratitude and free from fear of the unknown. Reach out if you think I can help you. What did the little fish say when he swam into a concrete wall? I actually gained a job out of this. My local Walmart had a lot of people quit because of the sudden high demand for everything. I'm self-employed so not technically lost my job. But all my clients have cancelled because I'm a tailor and who needs clothes when everyone's home isolating. I was even in the middle of making one lady's wedding dress. And she just forgot to tell me she's buggered off out of the country. And not gonna get paid. Hope this all blows over soon. Open bracket. I work for a ski resort in Colorado. Practically all employees have been laid off and are now stranded in a ski town with little other employment. Many have no way to get themselves home due to the desperate financial situation. I was laid off indefinitely from two different hourly paying line cooking jobs on Monday, 50 hours combined week. I helped clean out one of the restaurants Wednesday. We discarded a lot of stuff. I helped clean out all of the coolers and throw away a lot of prepped food that people didn't couldn't take home. Employees were encouraged to take what they wanted. Produce. Dairy. Meat etc. The place is almost completely empty. It's surreal. My spouse was laid off indefinitely Wednesday. She manages a restaurant and is salary W benefits, 50 HRS week. She was told that management will not be paid until the place reopens. Our family currently has no work or income. We have a young child. These are very uncertain times. Edit update. We are healthy and staying happy. Lots of extra time to play with the kiddo we have food. Water and other saved resources. We are exploring unemployment insurance and a couple of other options. Thanks for all of the love. This story could be the same for millions right now. Take care of your family and neighbors. Try to spend and shop local. We get past this together. I'm a bartender. I wasn't working Saturday or Sunday but was watching other places post on social media that they'd be closing for the time being. On Monday. A few hours before I was scheduled to go in. The city declared that sit-in restaurants should only serve takeout and that bars should close. So I spent a while with the owner packing up all the alcohol before we were all laid off in order that we could start collecting EI. I was a regular there for years before I started working there after finding it in its first week open. And it's been open almost as long as I've lived in this neighborhood. I'm the longest tenured bartender at this point. It's really fucked up to think about the place potentially not coming back. I worked with a company that did environmental work with concerts and musicians. Just started the job too and was really excited to start what I thought was my dream job. I got laid off because of the virus. Job hunting during the quarantine is really difficult. And I would like to use my environmental science degree for something useful. Teacher. So. Self-employed but business is practically finished. I'm a few years into my clothing company and dropped out of university in June as things were growing rapidly. I made a massive order before the Chinese New Year where I paid a 50% deposit. Now obviously sales have hit a standstill. The GBP has crashed which means the order I pay for in USD has now become even more expensive and the remainder is due the start of next month. The absolute worst part is I just hired my first employee in December and then signed a warehouse lease in January so feel a tremendous amount of guilt as she's fresh out of university. I've had to sell my car to Weibo Nika to cover her for a few months at least while I move back in with my parents and try and go from there. I'm praying the government grant gets to me in time so I can try and salvage my order. Just gotta pick myself up from the bootstraps. I got laid off today. I worked in art studio. There were only a few of us and my boss owns the business. As it's a small business she just couldn't afford to keep me employed anymore. Business just stopped. Normally we would have 10 plus orders a day. Today we had one. It sucks but I understand completely and she is the nicest boss. I live in the UK. And although the government are promising loans for small businesses it's not helping realistic. By that I mean the help is going to come too late. I really hope her business manages to get through the next few months. It's going to be a difficult few months for a lot of us. 
I'm luck I've got some savings and still live at home so it could be so much worse. I was in sales trying to get businesses to send employees to public workshops at hotels. We normally had 30-60 people at each workshop. Not the hottest thing out there now due to COVID-19 so they fired 20 people yesterday and kept only the top 5 guys. They said they will rehire us again after business resumes normally. The old faithful. Cup hand under your armpit and start making fart noises. This thread is painting a bleak af picture. I put in my notice for a new job. That new job put a hiring freeze after I had put in my notice. I am stuck in limbo. Washington state doesn't require PTO time to be paid out so it's cheaper to fire employees and zero out their PTO time and then rehire them later than it is to keep us. I haven't been let go yet. But all 9 of the people that work for me. Including one guy that had 12 weeks of PTO accrued and got nothing. Have been let go. Our office in CA has been letting people take PTO for years since it's a liability on the book since CA required unused PTO to be paid out. It doesn't seem like a big difference in the law. But it is in practice. To all ups in this thread. If you are desperate for income. Try your local grocery stores. Due to the influx of panic purchasing. There are many grocery stores hiring staff with the intent to get them trained and on the floor quick. I know this position is not highly coveted, especially during these times. But it can be a source of income if unemployment is not enough. We deliver Amazon their delivery vans. We deliver to Amazon warehouses from New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Baltimore, and the DC area. I was nervous about continuing traveling from city to city and crammed in a minivan with six guys to come back home. I stopped working Tuesday and today I feel sick. Sore throat. Very tired and sneezing. Hoping it's just allergies. From my 6 year old. How much do bones weigh? If you are in the UK. The major supermarkets are on a recruitment drive with a fast turnaround of getting people in position. I know this isn't a story about losing a job but hopefully this helps someone coming to this thread. Not me but my dad. He works in the exhibition industry, setting up stands for shows events and conferences, but now with bans on public gatherings he's out of the job indefinitely. He was the sole earner in our house as well and we only have enough rent money for the next month. Scary times ahead. My mom's in this case. Me and her have been homeless for a few years now. Staying place to place here and there. Outside till about a year ago come April. She got a job to keep us going and we worked out a deal with a motel we would go in when we would to pay by end of week. She waitresses and can general cover what we need week to week. Now we've got corona time and restaurants are all but done for for god knows how long. And we on our last 3 days inside somewhere before we head back to till under a tree and no jobs between the both. Not really sure where the up and up is from here but it's bleak. We've always made it through so I have to assume this will be the case too. The idea that the public library and her job are now gone which is where we spent most of our time outside is over for the foreseeable future is terrifying. Matched with the idea that we will just have to sit outside around the city during a pandemic is worrisome. All on about 2 bucks and change we got left. Yeah this is. Something. Both boyfriend and I work in the film industry. The whole industry has been shut down in Vancouver and we are not being told when productions will come back or start up again. Showed up to work on the 13th was told to go home and haven't been back since. I'm preparing myself for 2-3 months before I can even entertain the idea of going back to work. A horse comes to a bar and orders a mug of beer. It'll be $10. My mum and I lost both of our jobs at roughly the same time. We were in the process of looking for and buying a house. But now with no income we can't. We're also getting kicked out of the house we're renting because the landlords are refurbishing. And with this virus going around it's not the best time to move. Worked for a hospital or tea company. Sous chef at a school residence for international students. Emptied out Friday aside from 6 students. Had a little dinner party Saturday. Moved all the product we could from cold storage to other locations and donated what we couldn't. Minus our boss cooking us a nice dinner that night. Applied at the local hospital this morning. Hoping to get in there. We haven't been hit hard yet, Ontario, but if it does. 
I'd rather be working and serving those who need it those who are working to help than sitting around at home. I'm a 28 year old fairly healthy guy who lives on his own. My GF isn't too happy. But it's better than sitting on my ass and doing nothing. I've slept on a sack of potatoes for a weekend event. Better to do something than nothing. My childcare center closed last Friday and my wife's center closed yesterday. Company plans on staying closed until the 26th of April. They are paying us for the first two weeks. Self-employed. Self-unemployed. In the middle of simulator training at the airlines and told to go home. Now I'm home. My old job is contracting and likely wouldn't be a good option even if they took me back so I'm looking at alternatives. I work for an eye doctor and they just had a really slow couple months after Christmas and had already cut down our hours. The doctor cancelled all appointments and has essentially closed down. She told us she has business interruption insurance which she originally thought would cover us all. But after several days of back and forth with them it's totally still unclear if we will be covered and paid. In which case she will lay us all off and we must collect unemployment. I am hoping to know as soon as possible so I can file for it ASAP. I also filed for my tax refund 5 weeks ago and it's still not come so I'm a little concerned. Actually really concerned but I know there's nothing I can do. I'm hopeful I will be called back to my job after this but can't be sure. Was working as Ali for a company which deals with the shows in Vegas. I read the news about all the shows stopping in Vegas we were out of work Monday until who knows when. I was the only one with income in the family. I have a small business but with everyone out of work who knows what's gonna happen. I've been broke before but this is different. I was laid off from my 5 year graphic design job. Working for a screen printing and promotional products company. About half of our business involves schools. Sports. And events. Obviously none of that is happening currently. So our business has stagnated. They are going to try to operate with a skeleton crew for the next couple months. The hope is to bring everyone back eventually. But I'm not optimistic. I moved home recently and work in the restaurant bar industry. All job opportunities have vanished. Which is especially shitty since this is a high season where I live. I'm lucky to have my family to help support me until things settle down. Please support and donate to charities for people who will be struggling over the next few months. Edit. If you own a bar or restaurant and can't afford to pay the time off. Lay off your employees so they can collect unemployment. Hire them back when business should be open again. My Facebook feed is filled with friends who work the service industry. Basically asking for help with basic necessities. Equals. Kinda not clean but. I quit my job for a number of reasons right before corona chaos hit. Now my old co-workers are getting 6 weeks PTO and I am full worked in the job market. I'm a substitute teacher. And I had a few sub assignments lined up for the next month. All are cancelled. And I dk if there will even be school year to finish. I had to apply for unemployment since I have no means of making a living if schools end a year. I lost my job in China. Moved back home and shit hit the fan here. Made it through my quarantine and now nowhere is hiring. My husband and I are now both without jobs. It's not that I lost a job. It's the fact that it's now near impossible for me to find one. My fiancé is a freelance sound engineer. He's not going to be working for the foreseeable future. Most of the big AV companies in our city have shut up shop. Thankfully it looks like my job is secure for now, software. But we're going to move to a smaller place and do some serious belt tightening. I live in Portland. Or. My GF and I both got laid off on the 16th when the governor ordered all bars and restaurants to close except for to goes. We have no income and are just taking things day to day. We've created a subreddit for our hood. Hoping to build a community and easy way for people to socialize. Asa Livance Gulch. Join if you're in the area. Share your stories. I'm a waiter. I haven't lost my job but lost 25% of my hours next week. I'm expecting it to get worse as time goes on. We've been told nothing from head office about what happens if there's a lockdown. As I'm paid hourly. The assumption is I won't get paid. 
the Prime Minister was asked today what happens to staff losing hours or being made redundant and his response was that he was looking after the companies and he hopes the companies will do the same for their workers. Very reassuring. Had been unemployed for nearly two years due to medical problems. Finally got cleared to go back. It was a long. Hard fought road. Applied. Got an interview. Crushed the interview. Offered the job on the spot. Took it. Two days later. They took the offer back. Industry is getting crushed. Timing so shitty it hurts. I'm sitting in a meeting right now. Waiting to get fired. The VP is running late. So that's cool. Edit. They gave us basic info but are talking to everyone individually. So who knows still. Edit 2. Laid off. I worked at a specialty custom cake shop. My bosses are a brother and sister that own the business. They have been terrified of COVID-19 since it started in January and have been throwing around the idea of closing ever since then. When all the employees would panic and ask what would happen to us if you close they would just say don't worry about it. We will figure it out. Last week we got an email giving us 6 days notice that we will be closed for the following month with partial pay. By the time we reached the final day we would be open before the month of closing. They told us that we were actually being laid off. The partial pay for the month would be severance and they are unsure of when they will open. They act like this is only temporary. But I know that they are refusing custom cake orders all the way until August. They also make no promises to be able to hire us back after they reopen later this year since they may not be able to afford it. My mom works in vacation rentals doing housekeeping. She's 61. Diabetic and has COPD. And lives in a state that has mandatory shutdown of all non-essential businesses. When she was informed they'd be laying people off. But also staying open. She told them she's afraid of getting coronavirus and they laid her off so she could collect unemployment and continue to pay her bills while staying home safe. They wanted a co-worker and I to reduce our hours to half each. Because they could only afford one of us and didn't want to make a redundancy. In the end. I took the redundancy. I'm 21 and live at home. Meals provided. My co-worker is a 30 yo homeowner with bills and an unemployed girlfriend. Him losing half his income for me seemed wrong. Better me than him.